I'm sorry, you guys. That motherfucking uh, scam likely auto warranty shit. Count your fucking days, okay? Messing up my readings. Now, let's see. So, I feel like you're in your head because are you afraid that you're not going to get anybody new? Or you're not going to have anything new coming in? Because, baby, they always come in. I see a sense of you, yeah, you're afraid that somebody, this person is not going to come back. It's this, you want this person in particular. And the crazy thing is they want to come back. But let's see, because I have, I have you working on manifesting, not being left out in the cold. You're working on trying to get happiness. And I feel like you're going to get it. What is this person doing? This is all over. I don't usually read like this, but today, for some reason... Yeah, it's like, this person really isn't going to say anything. What a bummer. They want to. If you said something to this person, I feel like they would be very reciprocal. They do want to speak to you. But you're not either. Wow. We have the Knight of Swords here. I mean, the King of Swords here, which is cold and detached. And then the Seven of Wands being defensive. Y'all not going to go anywhere. But it's crazy because, look, nine of cups, ten of cups. You guys could be happy together. Both of y'all are too stubborn. That's odd. Wow. Y'all crazy. I mean, we crazy. I mean, whatever. So let's see what the outcome is. Outcome. Spirit, please tell me what is the outcome for a Gemini and this person? Ooh, it's three exactly. Ooh, four. No, I'm not going to take them too many. That's crazy because I'm seeing the Ten of Cups in here. All right, Spirit, please give me some cards for the outcome. Queen of Swords. Okay, so you're, you're going to be. I, mm, let me not say nothing too fast. Wait a minute. So I feel like you're going to try to be demanding and tell this person how you feel and want them to express themselves. I don't feel like they are. I feel like the fact that you're so demanding is going to make this person retract. What is the seven of swords here for? The six of wands. Yeah, they're getting attention from other people anyway. Yeah. I feel like they're going to... Yeah. Gemini, this is over. I don't know why it's it, it went left like that, but... And the outcome, I feel like this person is an attention whore, and that's just what it is, and you may know that already. But then, on top of the fact that this person is an attention whore, they don't want to hear shit you have to say anyway. It's like they're already stuck in their head. They feel like they know everything that they need to know about you. Cool. Cool beans. Now let's get the outcome. I mean, advice. What you don't know, is there something else out there? For you, I feel like you're being so stuck and petty on this person, trying to win at all costs. When you have a King of Pentacles, uh, maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, who may come in. I also do see on the flip side it working out with a person in particular, somebody who you may not be talking to. It could be the same person, but I do feel a need to open up to express your love. Look, King and Queen of Cups. Um, this is a weird ass reading. I just feel like you guys are too petty for each other. And this is somebody who does not wait around for nobody. So it's like, okay, you want to act crazy? All right, I'm leaving. Interesting. Let's get one card from the Rebel deck, you guys. It says they broke your heart. They did. They did. But I, the crazy thing is I feel like you broke theirs too. <laughs> All right, thank you guys.